Hey guys, welcome to Match Group. Today we are going through the fourth question of the International Advanced Level Pure Mathematics P1 of Jan 2021. So without further ado, let's get started. The points P and Q, as shown in Figure 2, have coordinates minus 213 and 4 minus 5, respectively. The straight line passes through P and Q. Uh, the A path states that find an equation for L, writing your answer in the form of y equal to mx plus c, where m and c are integers to be found. So, we have Q and P on the line here. We have to find the equation on the line. So, before finding any equation, we need to find the gradient. And to find the gradient, we should have some coordinates, two coordinates basically, and two. we do have it. So what I'll do is I'll just write the formula for the gradient. There you go, our m, which represents the gradient, equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. That's a very basic uh, gradient formula. Now, uh, y2 represents uh, the coordinates or the y coordinates. So you can choose any one of these. I'll choose this one first, that's y2 and that will be my y1 there's our, our y axis and the other is our x axis so without further ado let's uh, plug them in there you go 13 minus minus 5 so minus minus will become positive that will be 13 plus 5 and that's 18 and the down part of the denominator is minus 2 minus 4 so that's all negative so minus 2 minus 4 will be equal to minus 6 so 18 divided by minus 6 will give us a gradient of minus 3 so our gradient has been done uh, now to find the equation what I'll do is um, I'll be using one of the coordinates here so let me just use this coordinate it looks a bit smaller while compared to the a part which has a y coordinate of 13 so uh, and I'll use uh, the that's the formula for finding the equation of the line I'll be showing you. There you go. That's a formula to find the equation of the line y naught minus y1 equal to m into x naught minus x1. So let me just plug in our values here. Uh, as I already told you, I'll be using 4 and minus 1 as my coordinates. Yeah, y naught minus minus 5. Again, minus minus will become positive. So that will be y naught plus 5 equal to minus 3 bracket x naught minus 4 bracket close so i'll be expanding and doing some basic uh, addition and subtraction here there you go so now to find the answer in this form uh what making y the subject uh, i'll be subtracting 5 from both sides so that will give me y equal to minus 3x plus 7 and that's our form in y equal to mx plus c where m is minus 3 and c is 7 and those empty just uh, that are found then that's the equation for l in the line uh, now moving on to the b part so the b part is find an equation for c uh, the quadratic curve c passes through p and has a minimum point at q so there you go that's a that's a curve here that's a parabola curve for c and we have to find the equation for c here so uh, I can take Q as my minimum point or the vertex form of the quadratic function. So that will determine the equation. So the coordinates of Q are 4 and minus 5. So in the vertex form I can write it as there you go y equal to x minus 4 to the power square everything and minus 5. Now remember we have to change our signs we have to make sure that we put the uh, opposite signs here. Uh, 5 was negative so that's posi uh, positive here shown and uh, 4 was positive there it's negative shown in the bracket and when we set it to 0 that will become 4 itself so now what we'll do is um, first we can just add 5 on both sides or or what you can do is expand the bracket now before expanding the bracket um, if you have if you guys have studied the completing the square um, we know that whatever is in the bracket like 4 here has to be uh, multiplied with 2 because that's divided by 2 that's the half of it uh, written in the vertex form and to get the quadratic function we have to multiply it with 2 so that will become now if you guys can see that I have a positive 5 that side and to get 
y is the the subject what i'll do is i'll just subtract 5 from both sides there you go uh, y equal to x square minus 8x plus 3 but this is an incomplete form of the equation uh, if you guys know that to find y in the vertex form we usually write it like this is a uh, this is a formula to find the y in the vertex form if x is given so minus b upon 2a and we all know that our x value has been given and it's 4 there you go uh, and finding b will be very easy because uh, we'll multiply everything with 2a and that will become minus b equal to 8a and if you guys remember that our previous or the very original function for the vertex form was x minus 4 and we have 8 here so that's 2y so what i'll do is i'll just add a 2y to the function we got that's 2y and to get y only what i'll do is i'll divide everything by 2 or you can say the x square function only because that's a quadratic function and multiply everything with 2 there you go that's our equation for c x square upon 2 minus 8x plus 3 because they already are doubled and that's that's how you solve this equation forming an equation that's 3 and 3 marks done now moving to the c part the region r shown shaded in figure 2 lies in the second quadrant and is bounded by c and l only use inequalities to define region r and going back to the graph now they said that r lies in the second quadrant and our first quadrant is here that's our first quadrant and this is a second quadrant and is bounded by the line l and c and what we can do is here to find the inequality we can merge the two equation that we found and that will be easy uh, and put a sign here which is less than or equal to because r is a bit above of it if you can see that our line l uh, the equation for line l was y equal to minus 3x plus 7 and the region r lies above it so i guess that would be um greater that would be greater and about c c lies below it so i guess c would be um you can say less less than the region r from line in the part a must have a negative gradient and the curve from part b must be a positive quadratic we can also say that y because that's the y-axis here is greater than minus 3x or the equation from part a plus 7 that's greater than there you go and for the less one that's y less than half x square plus or or what you can do is write down the original function which was x minus 4 square that was we were de dealing in vertex form minus 5 there you go and remember guys uh, whenever we are pointing to the point p or the coordinate of p that's minus 2 and 13 and we took our minimum as 4 and minus 5 so x should be greater than minus 2 should not be less than minus 2 should be greater than minus 2 because it's moving in that direction the region r is in that direction so that is it guys that's the answer um thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos from this series